Hey y'all, what's up? We are here to talk about Diddy and all the stuff that's been going on, y'all. Okay, while I make this hat. Hope you guys are doing awesome. As you um if you are in the replay, just say hashtag replay. Okay. All right, so let's look this story up. All right, so while I pull this up, you guys... All right, so Christian Combs is currently facing a lawsuit of alleged assault. Okay, the rapper who performs under the stage name King Combs is accused of basically taking advantage of a young lady during a yacht party in 2022. Okay. That's what he is being accused of, amongst all the other stuff that's going on. So let's talk about the stuff that's going on with Diddy right quick. For those who may not know, um, Diddy's house was raided probably about two weeks ago, okay? It was raided about two weeks ago, and his sons were there, okay? Both Christian and his other son, I think... Uh, Justin, okay, and you could clearly see them being, um, they were like cuffed and all that. And some people were saying, Well, that's you know, that comes with the territory of being, um, raided, okay. Um, but yeah, so now they're coming out saying that, uh, Christian Combs, and that's the one that looks exactly like, uh, Diddy, and of course, that is. Um, the late Kim Porter's son, okay, with Diddy, and basically saying that he was on a yacht and he was doing some things he had no business doing. All of this is alleged. The incident reportedly occurred while the um, the young lady was working on a boat, okay? So she was, I guess, one of the, uh, the workers there. All right. Okay, so let me just read what it says, okay? This is coming from a young lady, okay, that uh, reportedly occurred while the lady was working on a boat charter that had been initially marked as a wholesome family excursion, okay? All right, but turned into a very bad environment, okay? Okay? It turned into a, a very bad in, in, environment or whatever. I don't know if she knew that uh, Diddy and them was going to be on there. Don't know. Don't know. Okay? In addition, in addition to the assault that is alleged against King Combs, he is also accused of harassing and her inflicting emotional distress on a woman. Okay? Now, in my opinion, you guys let me know. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? I just want to make sure you guys can hear me. Yes, yes. What? What can y'all can you guys hear me? Just say yes. All right. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Miss Tijuana. Oh, Tawana, I think your name is. I'm sorry. All right. King Combs is also accused um, of, of inflicting emotional distress. His famous father. Sean Diddy Combs is also named, okay, in the same lawsuit for premises liability due to chartering the yacht and for allegedly helping his son in the incident. Well, I didn't know that. But you know what? That's not surprising because it seems like everyone is being G'd, if you will, meaning raised into this type of business. Now, what I don't understand
understand is this. These um these are fellas with money, right? Money, fame, power. Why is it that they feel like they have to do this? This is something something else must something must be going on. This must be something that all of them are like kind of like um expected to do or something because alleged this is all alleged because it's like i i never understood like there are people out here who will who will willingly um hang out with you or like x gate say kick it with you okay so we have to look at at, at you know we have to look at this industry different y'all I've, I've i've noticed some things that's been going on uh the music that we listened to growing up guys it all sounds different to me now the signs and symbols that we see now you know like what i thought was the okay sign is not the okay sign what i thought was it's the rock in here and that was their little symbol is not what we thought we have been bamboozled let us struck that's what we have been all this time and right now it's like losing family right you know you grew up on the music you grew up um just rocking out thinking everything was just music when music is very controlling it's very mood altering you get what i'm saying you guys check out our youtube channel um we have a well it's gonna be up um by tonight uh a video that will smith okay i'll put some commentary on it guys but a video that will smith made back in 2019 y'all talking about how things are in the industry okay um that we thinking that we seeing one thing and we really not so please make sure you go to our what's the t youtube edition and watch that video okay now the ac the accusations okay the ac the accusations is part of the series of lawsuits now against Combs now it looks like the family is being can you guys hear me can, can you guys hear me because I don't see anybody this is actually filmed live. And for some reason, I got this big hat on it on my head. I got a light hook in my hand, and I'm crocheting, and ain't nobody saying nothing. I've already heard from you, Tawana. Thank you. I want to know if somebody else up in here. When I say, can you hear me? Like Von L. Hill, did you miss me? But I'm saying, can you hear me? That's saying that I want somebody to say, what's up? It's making me feel like y'all can't hear me or y'all can't see what the heck is going on. Okay. Now the numbers going down. Yeah, let them numbers go down. I'd rather them go down than having a whole bunch of people up and there ain't nobody saying jack. You get what I'm saying? I don't understand. All right. Now, despite these allegations, Combs has consistently denied any wrongdoing do you got i mean first and foremost let's just talk about cassie cassie is now and all the uh, and all these are on um we're gonna put these in the uh in the uh below y'all so y'all can actually look up the stories and, and read them but cassie is actually working with the peoples she's working with the peoples everybody thought it was going to be over with what she initially um, said back in, I want to say October of last year or November, one of those. And we thought that it was all over because he gave her a s substantial amount of money. Now, look, we are making a ruffle bucket hat. I do crochet, guys. And just to let you guys know, I like to think, because this is, this is, this is going to cross uh, several little things. I like to thank everybody who is supporting the channel. I love that. I don't know if it's because I'm putting more work into it. I don't know what's going on. But I do appreciate all of you guys who watch the videos. 
who is following the so so um chronicles um who is you know listening to the um the things about the truth and all that thank you for those videos um going you know the way they've been going i appreciate you guys we've been doing this for a long time and one thing <clears throat> that i've had to learn how to do is i've had to uh learn how to pivot this social media thing has really changed. I had somebody come on on my video because I've been streaming a lot on other on a, other platforms. They came on there and they said, "Oh, didn't you used to do nut nutritional videos?" And I, I first of all, they were watching me comment and all that, and then they finally said where they were from, which was just from FB. FB is where I began. Um, that's where I developed a lot of my personality. That's where I um, learned how to interact with the peoples and things like that. And she said, do you still do wellness? And the answer would be, of course I do. But things have changed, guys. You know, when you guys, a lot of people who first started watching me, I used to do cooking videos and I used to, um, you know, do hair. Oh my gosh. Um, I used to um, do all the wellness videos, but you know, things have changed on social media now. Now, one thing we do now is we do have an ebook. Now, one of my um, top uh, subjects that I used to talk about, and I still love dairy, um, it's very endearing to me, is pH. Okay? And the pH book is actually in the pinned comments, guys. Um, if you actually hit the thing that looks like a paper clip, you can actually get the uh, pH book. So why we still do that. I still, um, while I do my commentary, I, I still talk about wellness because that is like my um, my gift. That's my that's what I do. That's what God has placed me here to do is to teach you guys about wellness, but it's not in the same way. With that being said, I'm going to tie in some wellness into this. Okay, we have seen some things uh, about Diddy. Diddy has been on a bike and he's, um, you know, they said they spotted him in Miami and he looked a little heavy. Let's talk about stress real quick, y'all. I've noticed that Diddy is going up and down in his weight. When he was younger, he was thin, thin, thin. But that's what happens when you're youth, when you're younger. The weight is not there sometimes, you know. I, myself, don't know how that is because I've been a plus-size woman my whole life. Um, but, yeah, when you get older, yes, weight can come on. And so, I don't know if he has been stress eating. I don't know if he's just been relaxing, you know, you know, basically chilling, you know, not, not going to the gym or whatever. But, yes, he has placed, he has put on some weight. Now, I don't know if that is old stuff. New stuff, we don't know, we don't care. But I'm going to tell you, if you're somebody in here who wants to start to maybe lose a little pounds, honey, you need to check your what? <laughs> you thought I was going to say thyroid. No, check your stress levels. Honey, stress levels are something. One thing I have learned now is my stress levels can get out of whack. I'm in my 40s, and honey, when we get in our 40s, ladies, guess what? We can't be having a whole bunch of stress. Do you know over there on um TT when I be um doing all this, it's a lot of drama over there. Oh, it's so much drama over there over crocheting. Honey, crocheting is supposed to be well and healthy and, and stress free. They be coming up, little mamas be coming up in my videos, be asking me stuff and doing this, making me trying to make me feel uncomfortable. But honey, I've been here a long time. You're not gonna push me out of a lane that you didn't make for me. Okay, you guys watch that video that I put on my YT. It was it's released. It's up there now, and I let I, I'm I'm talking and things like that about how people try to make something stressful for you. It's all about a mindset. I do a whole series called So So, and it's on one of these um these little influencers. I don't mean to say little. She's not little. She's much bigger than I am as far as how many people watch her. Very blessed and highly favored, I feel, but she don't know it. But anywho, you know what I mean? And so they don't know who, look, this crocheting thing, this crocheting I use because I ask God. 
to help me not get dementia. Okay? Because I took care of a family member, my dear old granddaddy. He had dementia with his 96-year-old tail. Yes, he lived to be 96 and, and left this world knowing his name and his grandchildren's name, too. Hmm. Look at God. But I said, regardless of that, I don't want, I don't want dementia, <laughs> you know? So I started crocheting. And so I attached it to that, y'all. But that's probably why they hate me, because the devil's mad because I've actually attached my gift to a purpose. If you don't have your gift attached to a purpose, the devil could just take it out if you allow him. Okay, so let's get back to Diddy. See, if you want to get the, 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 the tea on the wellness, you're going to have to listen to my videos. Because, honey, we, we, we do this like Jesus did. You know, Jesus talked in what? Parables. Okay, and parables are to those who can understand them and those who can't, you won't understand them. You feel me? It is what it is. So those who have an ear will hear the little nuggets that we drop as far as wellness. Despite the allegations, Combs consistently says that he has done nothing. He has done something. Okay, I feel that I feel that something is going on because some of the things that it's be, are being said have been said for a while. Now let's bring up Stevie J, shall we? Now Stevie J. Now we all know Stevie J and, and Faith. Faith got married to Stevie J. I don't know how many years ago. It had to be at least three or four. I don't know because time is just a blur. And of course, they I think they're divorced now or whatever. She has to pay all this alimony. But I thought that was a little off. You know, let's bring up Biggie. You know, like, what is going on? Like, was was Faith, um, was, was this all planned from the beginning? Was the Faith really, did she, you know, was she really in love with Biggie? What was going on with that? And why is Stevie J sitting there now speaking up for Diddy? Speaking up for Diddy when he got some darn things up against him. Talking about, um... They was using his videos to teach people how to do things they got no business doing in God's earth. You get what I'm saying? If you know what I, if you know, you know what I'm saying. Because I can't be being all vulgarity because I'm a Proverbs 31 woman. And us Proverbs 31 women, we have to watch what we say out our mouth. Because God says it's not what goes in your mouth that defiles you, you shrimp eaters, you seafood eaters. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> it's what comes out. Now, I'm going to tell you. What we do eat does affect what the heck comes out of our mouth. Now, honey, if I sat there and had a whole bunch of water, had me some fish with a side of god darn kale or something like that, oh, I'm going to be talking all nice and right. I'm going to be nice and calm. You get what I'm saying? But, honey, if you go ahead and eat you a chili cheese dog, you got some darn beans that got 500 milligrams of sodium per teaspoon, and then you got some cheese on there that each slice is worth a thousand sodium. Then you got the hot dog itself that got almost a thousand sodium. Honey, you'll be cussing out everybody. So that's just how the Bible rolls. It's not always easy. Because, honey, what goes in this body will defile what comes out. Now, honey, can y'all say amen to that? See, that's the thing. When that lady asked me, do I do wellness? You get what I'm saying? I, I I got a little perturbed a little bit. For you guys who don't know what perturbed means, it means irritated, it means aggravated, it means how dare you even ask me something like that when you know they out here telling people not to talk about wellness. But God is saying, don't forget what I gave you, which is one of the hardest things to do as a human being, is to be able to pick up all the things that God has given you and use them at one time. I was talking about this a few days ago because I'm a hairstylist. You get what I'm saying? And all the hairstylists here will understand where I'm coming from. They tell you if you're going to pick up your darn flat arms and then you need your comb, you are not to put down your comb to get your flat arms, your flat arms to get your comb. You're supposed to have your flat arms in your pocket. And you'll comb like this. And you're supposed to be able to go through that hair with both. And so I use that to say, when God says that you're supposed to sing, and then all of a sudden he gives you some happy feet and say you can dance, and then he gives you a little bit of gift of lingo and say you can talk, you're not supposed to put one down to pick up another. You're supposed to what? Pick it up and do it all at the same time. We all want to make more money, right? 
you want to make more money, if you want God to increase, this is what you say. You say, this is the prayer I did. I did this quite a few times too, and it worked. But I didn't know what was going to come with it. So you got to be careful what you ask for because when you get it, you don't want to be overwhelmed. So listen closely. Now, are you listening? I need somebody to put, I'm listening. Because if you're not listening, I still got to say what I need to say because this is this is going somewhere else. But my point is, I want to make sure I'm someone is listening to me. And I want you to say, I'm listening. Unfortunately, I forgot what I was going to say. Now, let me go ahead and put something in. <laughs> let me. No, I don't want rice. It's bad. No, I don't want rice. Are y'all listening? I need somebody to tell me that you're listening. Okay. So this is the thing. This is the prayer. See? Just a little bit of sugar. See, the thing about it is, the thing about it is this. Diabetes, sugar issues, affects your brain and your memory. So that's what happened to my dear old granddaddy. He had diabetes, and I really do feel like it's because he was a glucose. And she had glucose issues just like I did. And so I just said, I remember taking care of him. I would go in there, thank you. I would go in there in the morning I say, Granddad, what's your name? What's your this? What's your that? I will just take him through all this. He look at me with the blanket stare. And then he said, give me a banana. And I gave him a banana. And he was also, when his mind was better, he would say, ask me again. I said, what's this? What's that? And he would give it to me. So that told me that when your sugar's really, really, really low, your memory, your brain kind of like doesn't connect. With that being said, the sugar is doing well, so let's go back to this prayer. So, we were going through something. My husband and I, we was full-time taking care of my granddaddy. So, we would basically not make a lot of income, but we had just enough to do what we need to do. That's, that's how God works. I asked God, I said, God, and I got on my knees, too. Oh, honey, it's one thing to pray while you're on your feet. It's one thing to pray when you're sitting down. But it hit different, like y'all young folks say. It hits different when you get on your knees. Honey, when I got on my knees, I had to take it down. I went to my bed. I went down one knee at a time. When my knee hit the floor, I heard it cracking. Then I heard my back cracking. And then I went down like this. I said, Lord, you know what I need. You know what our family needs. I said, please, Lord, please give me an increase. We need an increase of our finances, Lord. That's what I said. This is a powerful prayer. I'm saying it again. I said, Lord, please, we need an increase. Please help us out. You know our needs. I have faith in you. I have faith that you're going to give us everything we need and then more. I didn't say that, but that's what you got to say now. I just said, Lord, I know you're going to give us all we need. Honey, within a day, I kid you not. Some things happen. I'm not going to tell all my business. I don't have to tell you all my business to help people. Okay? Let that marinate. Okay? The next day, some things happen. But honey, I had to work, 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 work like Rihanna. You know? Work, 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 Honey, I worked 12, 14, 16 hour days. My husband, we would work, 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 work. Wasn't having time to do anything else but work, 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 work. I said, hold up, God. Wait a minute. Wait. I'm almost about to pass out here. So, oh, you wanted to increase. Oh, you thought the, you thought the heavens was going to open up? You thought your granddaddy was going to come back and give you some money in your hand? Oh, no. When you ask for an increase, just know that your work is going to increase as well. So then what you got to do now is I'm going to give you a remix of that prayer. Lord, please give me an increase of my finances, but give me the strength to work it. Give me the strength and the and endurance to be able to do the work. Honey, and that's how it's been for two years now. Not only, I used to just go and stream on one platform. Baby, now I stream on three. At 40-something years old, I thought I would never be able to stream more than 45 minutes to an hour. Now I stream all day. And I count my blessings with this darn crochet hook. 
crocheting is good for the soul. It is good for everybody. I've heard everybody. It's, it don't matter who you are, how old you are. Anybody can crochet. And now crocheting is my assistant with all of my videos. I can talk about whatever, whomever, and while I'm crocheting or wearing one of my hats that I made. Yes, it helps me. So I would suggest that you guys go to todaycrochet.com, which is all in there. Todaycrochet.com, y'all. And if you want to learn how to crochet, go ahead and go there. It's some great, awesome things there. But that's the prayer, y'all. Y'all want to know what Sierra said. Remember, they was like, back in the day, Sierra was like, they was like, what did Sierra pray for when she got Russell Wilson? Well, honey, I'm not impressed with that during marriage. Have y'all seen how she dresses? Okay. And have y'all seen Russell Wilson's face every time he take a photo? He don't look happy. You feel me? But I'm telling y'all legitimate, this is from a Proverbs 31 woman. And what is a Proverbs 31 woman? Uh, go to Proverbs 31, okay? And that'll tell you what a Proverbs 31 woman is. And then, of course, fellas, go to Proverbs 31 so you can choose the correct woman to marry, okay? Because we got to push up big ups. Hello, Miss Michelle. We have to big up marriage nowadays, honey. It's... Honey, marriage is still here, honey. And God is not, look, God's people ain't that few. Like my cat, William, said. Cat William said that. He was like, God's people ain't that few. Because, honey, sometimes I feel like we are few and far between. Now, I'm not saying we the majority. We are the minority. But it's a lot of us out here. So God actually blessed me to be able to have this skill of a hat. And, honey, people are hating on me. I'm 40-something years old being hate on people half my age and been crocheting longer than me. But see, one thing you got to learn in life, and I said this on another video. That's why you guys got to go over to YouTube, guys, and make sure you are following there. They look happy together. I mean, I haven't heard nothing bad. Of course you haven't heard anything bad. But see, I'm a person who's a, a woman of discernment. Not saying you're not, because I don't know you to say that you're not a woman of discernment. Okay, but because I am a woman of discernment, I can see um, facial expressions and, and I can see how it is. And of course, a woman who's sitting there showing all her tay-tays and all her booty can't be happily married. Okay, ain't representing a darn Proverbs 31 woman. Oh, it's not you. It was okay, me. you get what I'm saying? So yeah, y'all, that's what it is. So that's... um. This is what I said on a, uh, on a lot of my um, videos about Proverbs 31 women, guys. This is what I said. Now, let me think about it. Oh, gifts. It is a sin to not do your gift. What's your gift? I want to see if anybody watching this, if y'all could type up what is your gift. And I said gift from God. What is your gift, your talent that God has given you? Go ahead and type it up. I would love to know. Because it is a sin if you are not using your talents. And I used to think, like, when I heard that years ago, I used to hear, why is it that it is a sin not to use your talent? Now, I'm going to tell you why. Because you know there's a saying out here, right? It says that an idle mind... Is the devil's paradise. What does idle mean? Hmm. Let me go to my assistant and get the help that I need. While I'm doing this, y'all could be typing up what's your darn gift, um, FB. Because you, cause YT different, you know, they just can watch it and not even follow no directions. But you guys, y'all, y'all right, y'all in here with me now. What is your gift? I see somebody say sign language, okay. Absolutely. What else? Who else got a gift in here they want to share? What does it matter? I'm interested. Because once you type it up, it's one thing to know it. But once you say it and once you write it, it says something in your brain to not what? 
to not let that down. You get that, not let it go. To to use it, okay? I'm gonna tell you guys what I felt, what the spirit told me about why you should always be using your gift. But I'm gonna go ahead and actually read this meaning that my assistant has given me. Are you guys ready? Go ahead and type up. I guess I ain't got nobody in here that got no gifts. Well, that's a problem. And that's why the world is going down the way it's going because nobody knows what God has given them. Okay. An idle mind is one that lacks purpose. Mm. Work or direction. Okay. Idle. Idle means you're not moving, you ain't doing nothing, you're not improving, you're not, de you're not deteriorating, you're not improving, you're just deteriorating, to be honest. That's what you're doing, because you're not adding to what you know. It's like neglected God and left to wither and become a breeding ground for mischief and negativity. Amen? So, when I'm not able to do what I'm supposed to do in God, what happens is certain feelings will settle in. I'll start to think about members of my family who have passed on. I'll start to think about negative things that happened in my past. I will start to just be whatever. I'll start to worry. I'll start to think that nothing is going to be. Do you get my drift when I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do? Which is very rare these days. Okay. All right. But I don't know who I'm talking to. The saying, an idle mind is the devil's workshop, or I say paradise, warns us about the dangers of having too much free time without meaningful engagement. Okay? That's why, look, if you know that you are an awesome person who knows how to talk, you know, uh, the devil says to get the gab. It's not to get the gab. It's the gift of being able to communicate. To be able to communicate to more people than just people who are like you. That is a gift of God. You get what I'm saying? To be able to convey a message. A message that is worthy. A message that is helpful. Okay? Um, okay. So think out this way. When we are bored or restless, our minds can wander into unproductive or harmful territory. Didn't I just say that? I'm reading this in real time. Meaning, I did not read this before I went live. God told me to do this, therefore I do it. Okay? So when you're bored, that's not good. Just as children, when left to their own devices, might engage in mischief, adults with idle minds may overindulge in unhealthy habits. So if you're a person now... And every time you don't do anything like me, I, I suck my thumb. But honey, that's going to be, look, God says stop it, okay? Because I'm too old now. If I'm sucking my thumb, that means I'm not, I'm not uh, busy. And I'm introducing all kinds of bacteria into my mouth. I'm just keeping it 100. So it is time I rebuke that spirit of whatever it is that caused me to suck my thumb for 40-something years. You get what I'm saying? I don't have my parents around anymore to put hot sauce on it. Apparently, that did not work. Okay? Just, um, let's see. Whether it's mindlessly snacking on popcorn or anything, guys, chips is my vice. <laughs> What's your vice? Put it in the comments. What is your vice? What do you do uh, within reason? What do you do when you are bored? Okay? What, what, what foods do you eat? Okay, popcorn during a movie or succumbing to the temptations, okay, to other uh, temptations. The concept of devil's workshop refers to a place where evil thrives, okay? So if you're a person who does things that obviously it's not good for you, um, you know, you may smoke or you may, you may take a part of um, the devil's lettuce or, or the devil's brew, if you will. Okay, um, more than likely, you're not, you're not, not more than likely, you are not using God's gift. But a lot of people may not even know what God's gift is. Remember, I had seen a, uh, what is it, an interview of Whitney Houston. And Whitney Houston despised her gift. I don't think she, I, she might have once said it was God's gift. But honey, when you hear that voice, that voice from the 80s and the 90s, before things started to go awry real bad, 
Her voice was just timeless. It was smooth. It was effortless. Let me tell her story, okay? I don't know if you guys know this. But see, when Whitney Houston was about 11 or 12 years old, this is how you know it was God's gift. When she was about 11 or 12 years old, she was playing around, romping around with some friends or siblings or whatever. And she had like a hanger or whatever. And honey, they say that she fell on that hanger, honey. And that hanger went right down her throat. And she pulled it out. And there was her vocal cords right there. Did, you, did I tell you that? You told me that. Y'all can look it up. If you look at her like, my love is your love. Or this is, no, it's a song, Heartbreak Hotel, right? Uh, Heartbreak Hotel with, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, don't tell me. Because this brain needs work. I haven't done this in a while. Um, uh, don't tell me. Kelly Price and Faith Evans, okay? Heartbreak Hotel. And if you notice her little garment that she had on, okay, she always had like a choker on or whatever. Honey, that was a little scar she had on her neck from her vocal cords being kind of taken out with the hook, okay? But honey, her mama or somebody saw what happened, stuffed her mouth down with some darn guards or whatever and took her butt to the hospital, honey. They got, they repaired them cords. Honey, you know that girl can sing. She, I mean, yeah, of course. You know she still could sing. Now, that's how you know it's God's gift. That lady had her whole vocal cords snatched out of her system. Now, honey, she could, honey, she might have not even been able to talk. But, honey, not only was she able to talk, she was able to sing and sing some beautiful, beautiful music. But, unfortunately, little mama didn't know that that was a gift from God. I said this a few days ago, because you always have to understand your gifts from God are gifts from God. You are never to forget who gave you those gifts, because just as sure as God has given you those gifts, he can also take away the gift. And I say, that's why when I, I, I don't gloat, I don't tell people oh, how long I've been doing this, how long I've been doing that. I always say to God, I look at much TV when I'm bored. Yup. And the thing about it, the TV, the eyes are the windows to the soul. And I used to think, oh, maybe they're just eyes. But no, literally, whatever we look at literally goes down into our spiritual realm and, it'll, and, it, and it builds it or breaks it down. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, I always say to God be the glory. Don't you ever forget where your gift comes from. I don't give a darn what it is. I don't think, I don't care if it makes you a million dollars a minute. You are never to forget where your gift comes from. Because if you do, if you ever think you bigger than God, God going to show you. He going to let you know. Okay. Just to let you know, God, he only, he only talk, he only takes care of his own people, by the way. Honey, you, he only takes care of his own people. If you don't know that, read the word. You know what book I'm in now? Isaiah. Uh huh, and he talks about it all the time in Isaiah about what, well, how he takes care of people and how he doesn't take care of the people that ain't his. Okay, so that was worship over two. Okay, so it's like a haven for Satan, just to let you guys know. Okay, Satan was Lucifer. Okay, his name was Lucifer, lucid, light. He was the most beautifulest thing in this world. It's just like that, like Keith Murray said, right? He was the most beautifulest thing, angel in heaven. Beautiful. Okay? I, I think he also um, was over music and stuff. He just was, he could, he could do all that. He was beautiful. He could sing. He could do all that. But he thought that he was bigger than God. That's basically what happened. He thought that he was bigger than God. So now, you know, the devil is the is the god of 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 uh, what, what, what what the story is. Yeah. He kicked his butt out of heaven. Mm -hmm. Now well, I want yeah. I want y'all to go back and I want y'all to see this movie. This movie, don't tell me, okay? Because I like this job because this job makes me jog memory. The day that I'm not able to talk and teach and do all that is the day that. It's not going to be a good day for me. Okay? Now, I want y'all to go back and watch this movie, right? If you can. It's called Devil's Advocate. Now, Devil's Advocate, it had these actors in it. And I only do this because it's drumming up my memory. Keanu Reeves. Okay, 
that. Don't tell me. Don't tell me his name. And don't you tell me either. Okay. Okay? The, the, the guy who played the devil. His name is Al Pacino. I saw it before I remembered it. Al Pacino. Now, you guys go back and watch that. If you have not watched that, too bad, because I'm about to tell you how the ending is. <laughs> okay? Because it's, it's driving my point home. Now, y'all know the story of that. It's about a darn lawyer. Lyoya, right? Lyonia. About a lawyer. Keanu Reeves is his lawyer. He gets everybody off. He never loses. But at the end, he realized, you know, you know, he went through like this, this Scrooge moment. Like everything we were watching, we didn't know if it was real or something was going on in his head. Well, apparently at the end of the movie, he was back, The uh, at the end of the movie, he was in the bathroom washing his hands. Like the beginning of the situation, that's how it ended. And so this other guy came to him and said something, oh, um, you know, he had, basically he had a time where he could basically, everything that he foresaw, like Jezebel, foresaw it, he could actually had could have changed his life but he this guy threw him something and said oh you know x y and z you know you can win oh this next case you can definitely win whatever 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 and so it turned and it turned to be basically that that reporter switched into el pacino benny yes again. he morphed into el pacino and said whoo vanity is my best sin yeah Vanity, honey. And that's what got the devil in trouble. Vanity, pride, all of that, y'all. It's very important for you to understand that the devil's working. Do you know that this demon's all around us all day, but God has all kinds of angels and he's blocking, 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 blocking. Let me tell you my darn story real quick. So, I put up a put a darn thing up here saying why y'all shouldn't pull a hangnail. And we all get them. And when you get hangnails, Miss, do I still make nutritional videos? Yeah, I do in Jesus' name. I just got to do it differently now. See how that was? The devil allowed her to attack me so I could do this video. And people thinking because you're a Christian and you follow everything that you're not going to go through something. It says no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So I'm going to tell you, that's why I'm making this video, because that lady put out there, oh, do you still do this? She tried it, but God had me do this today. Hello. So anyway, I pulled a darn hangnail, right? That's why earlier I said, I need to stop sucking my thumb. So I pulled this hangnail, boop, just like that. Pulled it just like I've been doing since my teenage years. In fact, God had put... A uh, video of, um, across my YouTube, and I actually saw the person say, they said, look, you're not supposed to, uh, you know, pull your hangnails, because the lady had pulled her hangnail and unfortunately lost her own finger. You know what I mean? Stick with me. So anyway, I pulled a darn hangnail. I let it go. Every time I pull a hangnail, it's a little sore. I keep it moving. Yesterday, I said, my goodness, this thing is not, it's, it's not healing. What's going on? So I went and I pulled it back, and guess what was coming out? A little bit of whiteness, which is pus, y'all. This thing was trying to get infected. Now, I'm going to tell you, I've been doing God's work now for two, three months. I've been doing it all my life, but I've been really in the vineyard for the last three months. I always, everywhere I go, no matter where I go, I talk about God. I say, do Proverbs 31, woman. I say, go ahead and read Proverbs and Psalms. I'm doing what God has told me to do. Do you know that he allowed me to press all that stuff out, put some bleach in there, put some peroxide. I soaked it in Epsom salts. Honey, it's like it never was there. I said, God starved off. He blocked me getting an infection in my finger. See, that's how good God is. He blocks stuff. Doesn't mean that it ain't trying to come and get you. You got to be aware of that. Because if you're aware of that, you'll know that God is always in control. Even when you're going through. Even when you're going through some issues and whatever's going on, God is still there. But you got to know your gift. You got to know your gift. You got to always be doing your job in his vineyard. And then he can hold you down. We don't need our man holding our down or our woman holding our down. 
We need God to always be with us, okay? The concept of the devil's workshop refers to a place where evil thrives. It's like a haven for Satan and his demons. Hello, Satan and his demons, okay? Where they can work their mischief, stir up trouble, and damage what God holds dear. I didn't even read this, but I just basically said that. See how God puts the words in your mouth. He gives you. I woke up with this song. It says, lead me, guide me along the way. For if I, oh, was it? For if you lead me, God, I will not stray. I don't know if that's in the in the Bible or whatever, but that's a church song that I grew up on. And it says, lead me, O Lord, lead me. He ain't going to lead you wrong. In essence, an idle mind becomes fertile ground. Hello. For the w what? For the willy plans of the evil one. Okay. While the exact phrase, an idle mind, is the devil's workshop. Okay isn't directly in the Bible, several passages convey the same truth. For instance, Proverbs 16, 27, according to the Living Bible, warns, idle hands are the devil's workshop. Okay, so it says it. Idle lips are, the, are his mouthpiece. That is the truth, because I use my voice all of the time. The devil's trying to attack my voice. He's trying to attack my mind. He's trying to attack everything. But to God be the glory, he keeps me covered to keep going. Okay? Okay. Other versions of the Bible express similar sentiments, emphasizing that an ungodly or, or purposeless mind can lead to destructive thoughts and actions. Okay? So it's just like if you're making money right now, right? You're making money right now. You get your get paid. You know how people say, honey, this it don't matter. This money's already spoken for. You're a person who already knows the purpose of that money. You already know when you get paid, this is going this, this is going there, this is you already do you know that's God working in your favor? Because there's some people who will get a paycheck. And literally spend it all at one time. Why? Because they don't have purpose. And then all of a sudden they're looking around. Their bills are this way and this way. And they're losing this and they're losing that. It happens. Okay? So when you're doing that. And you say, hey, this money's already spoken for. That's God. That's, that's God giving you a purpose for your income. Your income is to what? Help you live on this earth. That's what it's for. Because you can't take it with you. But what you can do is you can help. You can basically make that money and put it towards what it's supposed to be. And pay your taxes, y'all. God told me to tell y'all that. Pay your taxes. All of these people are being, you know, in the social media game. Everybody making this money. Money they've never seen before. And you're spinning it up like it's going to be there forever. It's not going to be there forever. You're not going to be 25 forever. You're not going to be 29 forever. You're not going to be 35. You're going to age you're going to get older and as we get older things change so when you get some extra money when you feel like oh i'm getting some income put it up pay your bills do what you need to do of course but put some money up and make sure you understand that uncle sam is going to come for their cut whether you got it or not okay so let's heed this wisdom. Keep our minds engaged in things of God to avoid falling prey to the devil's schemes. Another movie I would suggest you guys to do is to watch Willy Wonka, the original, with Gene Wilder. Okay, I think that's what's his name. Okay, I want you guys to watch that because that character, Slugworth, is what this is. This is what is happening in Hollywood. People are. They say that. Um, with DMX. DMX was a teenage young man and somebody came up to him and gave him something in his drink or whatever and it made him hooked for the rest of his life. There are people out here who seize talent and they seek after these people and they make sure that they get addicted to certain things so they'll never be the same. Now, God can undo all of that, but unfortunately, if you're not taught how to live in God's camp as a young child, as the Bible says, to, to, to you know, teach your children in the way they should go, unfortunately, when Slugworth comes up to them, they're going to take that apple. 
And y'all know what happened to Sleeping Beauty, right? She took the apple from the witch and she fell asleep. But love, not a love of a man, that's what they told us in Disney. But I'm going to say God's love is what will wake us back up out of that slumber, out of that grave that the devil wanted us to be in. Okay? I hope y'all got that. So that's basically what this whole thing is about. You know, Diddy has gifts. Nobody is saying he's not talented. The man is talented. But unfortunately, he got caught up in some devilish things. And of course, if you don't know it's wrong, you're going to pass it down to your sons and your daughters. And they're going to, I mean, look at his daughters. Oh, I don't know if Miss Kim Porter, if she was here breathing. I don't know if she won't want her girls out here doing all that. Honey, as soon as they turned 17 years old, baby, it looked like they was just took all their clothes off. We pray for the children. But unfortunately, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And we got to know who our true father is, okay? And it ain't Diddy, okay? We pray that they get uh, God in their life and they get delivered. And we pray that Diddy gets delivered and all of the people. You know, hey, I'm not here to say where somebody going because I ain't build none of this. I ain't got a heaven to put nobody in or whatever to put nobody in. But what I can say is, if you don't get yourself right in this life, you ain't going up there with him. And that is the truth. Huh. Okay. All right. All right. So make sure you guys are following us everywhere. Follow us on TT as long as they open, y'all. We don't know how long. But, honey, what we going to do, what God told me to do, and my husband is to ride that bus until the wheels fall off and that's what we doing so y'all go ahead and y'all follow on tt y'all go over there on yt subscribe put your notifications on y'all follow us all everywhere y'all because we there even on a god darn app called threads i don't know if y'all heard about that but it's like a subsidiary yeah subsidiary sister company of instagram okay so yeah that's where we are thanks for listening y'all uh-huh